Hi, fifth grade. I'm going to talk to you for just a minute about dojo points that we're going to be starting at the beginning of this six weeks. So today is the start of the third six weeks, and we are going to start dojo points with the whole fifth grade. Here's what that's going to look like. So as you can see on this page, this is an example of my homeroom. No one in my homeroom has any points except for me right now, and you're going to see why in just a minute. But everybody's going to start the six weeks at zero points for Dojo. So what does this mean for you the six weeks? Starting today, you're going to be able to earn points or lose points that you will be able to use at the end of the six weeks to purchase items at the Dojo store. So how do I earn points to get positive points? Here's how you would earn positive points in your Dojo account. Daily work is complete. That means whatever your teacher has assigned to you, for that day you were able to complete your work. You get $5. Following directions. Maybe that looks like coming in to class and getting out your work or getting logged in or doing what you're supposed to be doing that's on the board. That's five dojo dollars. Helping others. Maybe your teacher notices that you're helping others. If you have homework for that class, you might be able to get it turned in. If your teacher sees you showing kindness, if your teacher can tell that you're on task, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing instead of playing a video game or clicking around on the computer where you're not supposed to be, or she notices that you are... Um, checking off your assignments the way you're supposed to be. Working hard would be another one. This might look like during a lab or during math stations that your teacher notices you working hard. There might be other opportunities that you end up getting later as your teacher may add more positive skills. But if you notice, they're all $5. So your teacher could notice many times that you are working hard. So you could earn more than $5 at a time if your teacher notices that you're continually working hard or on task or following directions, or you got all of your daily work completed. So these are all the positives where you could earn dojo dollars. What's it going to look like if you are going to lose points for dojo? These are the points that you might notice for losing points. And the numbers that you see here correspond with the numbers that you might see on your report card. For example, if you got an N or a U on your report card that had a number one next to it, it meant that you were having a lot of difficulty listening or following directions. Or on another report card, it might show an N or a U for complete work on time. It may say number eight, and that means that you are struggling on getting your work completed on time. So all of these numbers have to do with the numbers that go on your report card when you get an N or a U. So you will lose points in Dojo if your teacher has to do a Dojo sign. Instead of signing our conduct sheet, you would get a Dojo sign in the Dojo store, which would take away points for your dojo account. That would also mean that if you have a dojo sign, you would miss recess or most of recess for that day. Here's how that would look. Let's go back to the dojo page to see how that would look. And I'm going to click on me. I did myself as an example. And I can click on my dojo person to see what my um, dojo positive and negative points would be for the week. So I can click on me. I can um, give myself points. So this is what it would look like if I earned points. So maybe I finished my work that week. Good job for me. Or maybe my teacher found me not doing what I needed to be doing. And I clicked on, um, maybe I wasn't quiet when I was supposed to be. Is quiet when appropriate. So I had to take away points for that. And then let's say it's time to go to recess. I'm gonna view the report and check out who gets to go to recess. So here's my report and I can click on Kathy Smith 
And I can click on today, and let's see what my behavior was today. Ooh, you can see that I got all these positives today over here, but I also had one, two, three negatives today. So I'm going to have to stay in from recess and not be able to participate for recess today. At the end of the six weeks, what I'll do is pull a report at the end of the six, six weeks, and I can see just how many um, dojo negatives and positives we've had in case I need to be able to um, contact your parent and let your parent know that maybe we need a little bit of work in a specific area. So the other thing I need to show you is that your dojo points are connected to your parents as well. So let's say that um, I got another sign today or dojo sign and I'm going to click on me. I'm going to click on needs work, but I can go to the bottom. Let's say I didn't complete my homework and I can add a post and homework is number nine. So I'm going to type number nine, um, number nine, Kathy, um, no homework today. And I would post that just to Kathy's account. I could even post a photo if I needed to. I'm gonna do that and also add, take away the five points. So that's it. Uh, basically, your points for positives and negatives will be recorded all in Dojo. At the end of the six weeks, you will get a Dojo debit card and your teacher can show you what that looks like right now. And at the very end of the six weeks, your teacher will write your dojo dollars on it and give you your debit card, and you will use that debit card to spend money at the dojo store. So your goal is to try to earn as many points as possible and not take away your points. So good luck working on your dojo points this six weeks. If you have any questions, be sure and ask your teacher.